From sluggish beasts to war-winning machines, World War II tanks evolved at an incredible pace. Each new design pushed the limits of firepower, armor, and mobility. But not all tanks were born equal. Some were flawed, while others became legends that shaped the outcome of the war. The Soviet KV-1S was introduced in August 1942 and designed to fix the KV-1's poor mobility with its reduced heavy armor and lower overall weight at about 42.5 tons. This allowed higher speeds up to 40 kilometers per hour, giving crews better control and maneuverability. Armed with a 76.2 mm ZIS-5 gun and featuring a new commander's cupola, it was built as a more balanced heavy tank. With around 1,100 produced, its thinner armor soon proved inadequate against more powerful German guns, and its mechanics remained complex and costly. Despite limited success in battle, the KV-1S played a crucial role in Soviet tank evolution. It marked the first real step toward prioritizing mobility, leading directly to the IS series tanks that would define Soviet heavy armor in the later stages of the war. Introduced in late 1943, the Soviet IS-2 was the Red Army's powerful response to German heavy tanks. Weighing 46 tons, it carried the massive 122mm D-25T gun capable of destroying tigers, panthers, and fortifications at long range. Its armor was equally impressive, with a 100mm sloped glacite and a turret front up to 160mm thick. Built for breakthroughs and late war offensives like the Battle of Berlin, it proved devastating but mechanically demanding. Its two-piece ammunition slowed the four-man crew's rate of fire, while limited space allowed only 28 rounds. Around 3,400 were produced. Ranked at number 9, the IS-2 earns its place for unmatched firepower and protection but falls short due to slow reloads, heavy logistics, and high costs. It was a powerful yet specialized tank that shaped post-war Soviet design. The German Panther was developed in 1942 to counter the Soviet T-34, aimed to combine the strengths of a medium and heavy tank. Entering service at Kursk in 1943, the 45-ton machine carried the powerful 75mm KWK-42L-70 gun, famous for its long-range penetration. Its 80mm glacite plate was sloped at 55 degrees and provided excellent protection, while torsion bar suspension allowed speeds up to 55 km per hour and strong mobility. About 6,000 were built, but reliability issues plagued early production units with frequent transmission and final drive failures. Ranked at number 8, the Panther was brilliant on paper, combining firepower, armor, and speed better than any rival yet its mechanical complexity made it a masterpiece of engineering but challenging in wartime practicality. The American M26 Pershing entered combat in February 1945 and was the long-awaited U.S. answer to German heavy tanks. Weighing at nearly 42 tons, it mounted a powerful 90mm M3 gun capable of defeating late-war German armor, backed by up to 102mm of frontal protection. With a five-man crew and a top speed of about 40 km per hour in the field, it offered good mobility, solid protection, and excellent crew comfort. Though arriving too late to influence World War II significantly, the Pershing proved its worth in Korea against the T-34-85. Unlike the complex German Panther, it was reliable, easier to produce, and logistically efficient. Ranked at number 7, the M26 marks the transition to the modern main battle tank concept, combining balanced design, strong firepower, and sustainable battlefield performance. The British A-34 Comet entered service in late 1944 and was the peak of British cruiser tank design. Based on the Cromwell, this 33-ton tank mounted the powerful 77mm high-velocity gun, a lighter and refined version of the 17-pounder gun, capable of defeating late-war German armor. Powered by a 600-horsepower Rolls-Royce Meteor engine, it reached speeds of around 50 km per hour with excellent cross-country mobility. Its welded hull, five-man turret, and compact profile gave it outstanding reliability and battlefield efficiency. About 1,200 were built before the war ended, which limited its overall impact. Ranked at number six, 
the Comet earns its place for achieving a nearly perfect balance of firepower, mobility, and reliability. It was praised by crews, performed superbly in the field, and directly paved the way for Britain's legendary Centurion tank. The British Cromwell entered service after the Normandy landings in 1944, and it redefined the cruiser tank concept with its exceptional balance of speed, reliability, and practicality. Weighing about 30 tons and powered by the Rolls-Royce Meteor V12 engine, it could reach speeds up to 64 kilometers per hour, making it one of the fastest Allied tanks of the war. Armed with the decent 75mm gun and supported by a strong Christie suspension, it was easy to maintain and praised for its dependability. Around 3,000 were built serving effectively during rapid Allied advances across Europe. Ranked at number 5, the Cromwell's success lay in its operational flexibility and large-scale impact. It achieved the perfect balance of mobility, production efficiency, and field reliability, becoming the most effective British workhorse of World War II. The German Panzer IV H. Ausf H entered mass production in April 1943 and represented the true backbone of the armored formations of the Wehrmacht. Weighing around 25 tons, it mounted the powerful 75mm KWK-40 L-48 gun and featured 80mm of frontal armor with added side skirts for extra protection. Despite these upgrades, it maintained good mobility at about 38 km per hour. Roughly 3,800 Ausf H units were built. It was reliable, adaptable, and easy to produce. It served on every major front until 1945. Ranked at number 4, the Panzer IV H achieved the best mass produced balance of firepower, protection, and mobility of any German tank, proving far more sustainable and strategically valuable than faster but less versatile designs like the Cromwell. The British Sherman Firefly was first deployed in Normandy in June 1944 and a brilliant wartime adaptation that turned the standard American Sherman into a formidable tank killer. By fitting it with the powerful 17-pounder gun, the Firefly could destroy Panthers and Tigers that regular Sherman struggled to penetrate. Around 2100 were built by 1945, giving Allied forces a much-needed anti-armor edge. Retaining the Sherman's proven chassis, drivetrain, and logistics made it highly reliable and easy to maintain in the field. Ranked at number 3, the Firefly's success came from combining massive firepower with existing mass-producible infrastructure. It was the perfect blend of adaptability, mobility, and battlefield effectiveness, providing a fast, reliable, and deadly response to Germany's heaviest tanks without requiring an entirely new design. The Soviet T-3485 was the ultimate evolution of the legendary T-34, combining superior firepower, mobility, and mass production. Retaining the sloped armor and 55 km per hour speed of earlier models, it introduced a new three-man turret with the powerful 85mm ZIS S-53 gun. This greatly improved command efficiency and combat awareness, fixing the major flaw of the original design. Produced in staggering numbers, around 23,000 during the war, it became the backbone of Soviet armored offensives in 1944 and 1945. The T-3485's rugged simplicity, ease of manufacture, and battlefield effectiveness gave the Red Army overwhelming armored strength. Ranked at number 2, it represents the perfect wartime balance of firepower, mobility, and production scale. The M4A3E8 Easy 8 Sherman was the final evolution of the Sherman series and widely considered as the most balanced tank design of World War II. It featured the advanced HVSS suspension and wider tracks, giving it smoother handling and excellent cross-country mobility. Armed with the long-barreled 76mm M110A1 gun, it offered solid firepower, while its greatest strength came from logistics and reliability. Using the massive Sherman production network, it shared parts, training, and maintenance with earlier models, making operational deployment easy. About 2,600 were built during the war, featuring welded hulls, wet ammo storage, and a full five-man crew for superior coordination. The Easy 8s massive mobility, simplicity, and worldwide service longevity make it the most strategically complete and successful tank of the era. Thank you for watching, and see you in our next videos.